Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7. Alright, let's see if we can break Rowena out of her, uh, her spell, at least temporarily. So, we've got the music box right here. The music of the little box makes Rowena turn her head in your direction. She blinks, mm, excuse me, several times as if waking from a dream, or in this case, a nightmare. I, I am in control of my mind for the time being, but I know not how, I know not for how long. Tell me, what has transpired in the town outside? You relate to her what you know of the events you've heard in town. <clears throat> My poor Trent. I cannot bear to think that he's become so hurt that he would forget our love. She wrings her hands in sorrow and notices something on one of them. Please, my lady, wouldst thou take this ring to him and tell him that I still love him? Mayhaps it will restore him to the beloved Trent I knew. She takes a ring from her slender finger and places it in your hand. You expect it to pass right through, but it rests neatly in your palm. I thank thee, kindly lady. I know not how to repay thee. Rowena's eyes begin to look a little glassy, and she blinks slowly as if entering a deep trance. She blinks slowly. What beautiful music. My lord Horence once gave me a music box like that one. Rowena turns away distracted. Uh-huh. Rowena smiles in an abstract manner as you approach. Ah, thou hast returned, my lady. How may the lady of the tower be in, of assistance to thee? Yeah, so you can only get her out once. I'll have to try playing that again. Let's see. really not very loud at all. It's kind of kind of disappointing. It sounds kind of nice. <clears throat> also, um where oh boy. Um ah there it is. Wedding ring. It's uh, nice and glowing. Sure flashes fast on the ground. All right. Oh Trent. Oh hush up people. All the food here is, uh, the only food here is, uh, um, made of ectoplasm. Um, I've got a ring for you. You hold out the ring to Trent. At first he ignores you. Then, recognizing the ring, he takes it from you and holds it before him. Something in him snaps and his huge frame slumps forward. You let the gro ghost cry for a while. And when he finishes, you see a remarkable change in his appearance. Oh, hey! It did change. The flames that once burned in his eyes are now gone, replaced by a deep shade of blue. He looks like a new man, or rather, ghost, as it were. Forgive my behavior, milady. I know not what came over me. I remember flames, but they burn no hotter than mine own hatred. He looks pained at the memory. Thou hast seen her? Thou hast seen Rowena? And she still cares for me. Well, all the more reason to finish the soul cage. The soul cage. We must free her from Horrence's vile sorcery. Um, soul cage. So this is a special cage made to fit the shape of a man. Mistress Mordra says that it will contain the lich Horrence once it has been lowered into the well of souls. His voice seems much softer than before. Uh, free. Yes, thou wilt help me free her, wilt thou not? A tinge of, of the edge comes back to his voice. Yes, I will. His grip on the haft of his hammer relaxes, and he smiles with gratitude. Thou cannot know how much this means to me. I thank thee. Uh, what next? Uh, I'll need the iron bar that thou dost carry. He holds out his hand and takes the iron bar from you. With this, I will finish it shortly. Wait here whilst I tend the cage. Take the cage to Mistress Mordred. She will tell thee more about it and its use. Ding. Ding. There, it is done. That was fast. That one bar did that? Wow. Now take the blasted thing to Mordra. She will instruct thee in its use. That looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Do I still have hack mover on? I do still have hack mover on. Let's turn it off. Alright, so someone is hungry. Who is hungry? Ah, ceramic. That's okay. You are allowed to be hungry. 
I grant thee permission to be hungry. You know what? Let's uh, let's see what other people have food-wise. Do you have any food? You have honey, but I'll keep that around. You also have honey, but I will again keep that around. Ah, you have food. Cheese, Gromit. No, thank thee. How dare you turn me down? Alrighty. Let's go see Mistress Mordra. Oh, Mistress Mordra, there you are. Greetings once again, Elmandretta. She lifts up her arms, and in one of them you see an ankh. Words which you vaguely recognize flow from her lips, and the ankh glows brightly. She stops chanting, and the ankh dims. After analysis of your condition is complete... Yes, okay, so she's just checking her health. Um, Cage maid. The soul cage must be empowered with the might of the dead. The way to accomplish this is to go to the back of the dark tower, to the well of souls. Thou must lower the cage into the well where the souls trapped there will lose a little of themselves to imbue it with the required power. I know this sounds harsh, but it is a necessary evil if thou wouldst see them freed. She looks at you sharply. The next step is to wait until midnight, then clap the cage upon the recumbent form of the lich. This is the period of time in which he drains the spirits of the townsfolk in his black service. After a brief moment, she continues, Finally, thou must pour a magical formula upon the lich within the cage. Its formula is the same substance that destroyed the town. Do be careful when procuring it from the alchemist came. Uh, well, I do have it. Uh, well of Souls. I think we've read about that. All right, bye-bye. All righty. Can we get different music? I, I am not a fan of this music. I find it repetitive and boring. Well, let's go ahead and empower the Well of Souls. That rat is still alive back there. Shockingly enough. Alrighty, so... Soul Cage! And now it glows brightly! <laughs> I wonder if I can use these. I can. What is this? Uh, I don't know. What, what did I do? I don't know what I did. Did I use it on him instead? I don't think so. Maybe I should, uh... I don't know. I don't know what the hell that did. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, so... It's 4.40 p.m. I suppose I could go get some more, uh... Mandrake essence potions. Kind of wondering if they may might uh, like restore uh, magic or something like that. That would be pretty awesome. Do not know if that is the case, but uh, I will keep coming in there. Let's see. What about going off screen all the way? Maybe it requires the chunk to reload. Haha. <laughs> Always get more. I really have no idea what that did. But I think uh, at this juncture... Uh, who's hungry? Iolo is hungry. You have no food. How many arrows do you have left there? 70, okay. You you have some food. Um, there you go, Iolo. And here you go. That's probably all the food he has, I think. Yep. 
Won't fit. Whoops. Uh, you don't have any food. I know that. Do you have food? You do have food. Do you want some more bread? Nope. Alright. This island is very empty. It's a little disappointing. There should be more, but... Let's go to sleep. In how many hours shall we wake thee up, Elmentretta? Let's see, it was 4.40, so... Um... Let's go with six hours. That would be... That would just be 10.40. Let's go with uh, seven hours. Hopefully I didn't spend too much time wandering around back and forth, but... Let's take a look at the time. 12.20 a.m. Well, I don't think I would have missed it, but... Uh... Alright, people are hungry again. Well, I am hungry this time. Spark is hungry. You know what? Screw it. Everyone is hungry. Let's, uh, let's just... Here, you don't have any uh, worthwhile food. You do have some uh, lockpicks. Let's uh, give you those. Alright, me. Uh, Jana. Where are you, Spark? I do not see you at all. Well, I'll find you in a moment. I think that's the last of the food outside of Iolo, so... Let's go in there. Alright, who else is hungry? Uh, yeah, Spark is. Um... Where the hell are you, Spark? Ugh. It is time to make another video go live, though. Alright, um... Well, let's see, who else is hungry, actually? Uh, let's just uh, give that to Dupre. You know what, screw it. Just uh, feed everyone, if we can. I got plenty of food, why bother wasting time figuring out who is actually hungry and who is not hungry? There you are, Spark. That's all you want. Uh, Tyramid, do you want anything? Yep. You wanted some more. Do I want some more? I do. Good. You wanted some more too, you pig. Ah, no, I can't do fruitcake. Fruitcake is reserved for... Um, Iolo. Six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, we've got everyone. Um, where is Horrence? I didn't miss it, did I? I might have, since it is after midnight. Well, I might have to just uh, sit here and wait a little bit. Usually these things go for, like, um, a whole hour. Um, you know, it's more than just, like, a couple minutes kind of thing. Maybe this guy needs to sleep or something? I mean, where is Horrence, anyway? I don't see him at all. Oh, he's out back. Okay. Come on, Horns. Why are you not, uh... Oh. Oh, yeah, they do say something different. The heavyset ghost looks a bit shaken and his speech is a little slurred as he says, Excuse me, Your Honor. 
but I got me a splitting headache. Do you mind if we continue this little chat later? We had to rub his temples with both hands. And you can't talk to them. Alright, I think I might have missed it. Um, I might have to go to sleep again, and sleep for a very, very long time. Because I do not see uh, Horrence coming in here. Come on, Horrence. Get your butt in here. He does not seem to want to come in here. Alright, well, uh... Hmm. I don't know why that other guy is just wandering around. I mean, the other people, uh... Wait, there, 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 there he is. There he is. There we go. Boom. Uh, before I do that, though, I just need to make one video go live. Online. There we go. Don't cra crap out on me again, game. Uh, YouTube. Thank you. Alrighty. Alright, let's go ahead and double click on that. And then put it on. It that does that looks bad. <laughs> that does not look very good, honestly. Um I it, it does not look like it's actually trapping him. But okay. Let's use that. And poof. As the soul cage dissolves into dust, a great transformation comes upon the lich. Hey, he looks more like he used to. Awesome. Where the evil spirit was caged, you see the form of a, of a familiar person. It's Horrence! He's a ghost, but he much more resembles a man than an undead terror. I thank thee, milady. That dark spirit has had suppressed my will for so long that I was not sure I had one left. Thou hast done a great deed for Scarabray, and for myself, for myself, and indeed all of Britannia. But then I suppose this is merely a matter of course for one such as thee. My gratitude is thine. He bows deeply to you. But now I fear all is still not right with the world. The ether stirs chaotically outside of this dark tower. Were it not for some property within the walls, I fear my mind would suffer the ravages of its force. Now, my lady, I must ask this favor of thee. The well of souls at the bottom of this tower holds many tormented souls within it, and binds the spirits of Scar Bray to this island. It must be destroyed. Horns looks at you intently. I can only hope that thou wilt try to free them. Wilt thou? Well, wilt thou? He looks at you expectantly. Yes, I will. Horns looks as if he expected your response. I knew that one so virtuous as thou wouldst never turn aside while others suffer. Thy generosity seems to have no bounds. Horrence thinks for a moment, then, when the well is destroyed, the souls within will be released to float aimlessly upon the ether for a time. I have badly wronged the Lady Rowena and her husband. I would see this wrong mended. Please, lead her out of this dark place and see that she is reunited with Trent. That way they will remain together when they are released. I will know when you've c accomplished this task, and then we can continue with the destruction of the well. Uh, right, Rowena. This place is horrible. Wouldst thou be so kind as to take me to mine husband, Trent? He has a res tendency to worry about me. Yes, I will. Rowena smiles radiantly. Thank thee, milady. Thy spirit is a generous one indeed. Thou hast too many people in thy party at the moment for me to travel with thee. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, let's talk to other people first. Um... Actually, it looks like we're just going to be getting the uh, regular stuff. Okay, so... Alright, uh... Leave... Yes... Wait here. And... Leave... Wait here. Yes, come with us. She steps in line and motions for you to lead on. We have a ghost in our party now! But we can't actually, like, access her. She's not a full party member. It's kind of disappointing, actually.
Oh, actually, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, Rowena is still with us. I wonder where the blasts came from. Oh, harpies! What the hell are harpies doing here? Uh, that tree just disappeared. Oh, there's a bunch of harpies. Ew! Oh my god, that is gross. I don't remember seeing that, uh... Oh, dear. Um... <laughs> uh... That, that could have been bad. Uh... A great heal. I wonder if that'll work. Let's do another great heal just to be on the safe side. There we go. Anything on the harpies there is interesting. I wonder if the ghost can actually be killed. That would be uh, amusing. And we got a gold nugget. Whoop de doo. Look at that tree. That is disgusting. And there's a there's a spider there though. Huh. I don't remember that tree being there. All right, let's get inside. Oh, come on. Uh, you're just kind of sitting there, Trent. Trent paces around the burned-out remains of his shop. When he sees you return, he rushes forward, looking for his love, Rowena. The star-crossed lovers rush into each other's ghostly embrace. For a time, it's hard to see where one spirit begins and the other ends. You barely make out the image of Trent replacing Rowena's finger... Uh, ring on her finger. Then the two slowly turn to face you. Thou hast done so much for us. I hope that in helping us thou hast been assisted in thine own quest. Trent bows to you, then returns, then turns to regard his lovely wife. And they just kind of stand there. Now we need to go talk to what's his name? Cain. Uh, there he is. Greetings, milady. Kane breathes deeply, apparently forcing back his torment. Um, need formula? Thou trusts me to tell thee the formula? After what I have done to this town? Art thou mad? I hope at least that thou hast checked with Mordra for the correct proportions, yes? Yes. He shakes his head in disbelief. Thou art truly insane. But, he shrugs, thou hast nothing to, to lose but thine own life. Instructions. First thou wilt need... The three potions. I guess I sh probably should have talked to him about this before I actually did it myself. <laughs> then thou must place each one below a connecting tube. The order matters not. Take an empty vial. I sh should have one here in my lab. And set it below the nozzle. Then turn on the burner. After but a few minutes, the mixture will form and the filled vial will be ready for thee. Uh, questions. Thou hast freed us from the lich. Thou art entitled to mine half of the bargain. So thou dost want to know the answers to the questions of life and death? Yes, but I can guess that there are no answers to li the questions of life and death. The tortured one looks hard at you. Then, smiling, he shakes his head. I have no secrets, my foolish friend. Thou art a fool. There are no answers, only questions. He looks as if he might cry out in pain. And then Cain turns away from you. Go away now. Leave me to mine eternity. Well, you know, it's probably not going to be an eternity, but yeah. That's how you want to be. That's fine with me. One of the reasons to uh, have these, uh, um, you know, like leave... Uh, um, Iolo and Shimino or Dupre is that they will always join no matter what. Uh, up to eight people at least. Alright, it is good to see thee again, Elmandretta. Good, now we can get on with the freeing the rest of Scarabray. The destruction of the Well of Souls can only be brought about by the selfless sacrifice of a spirit. A living being will not do, because the soul is tied to the body. Go out into the town and find a spirit willing to make the sacrifice for the sake of Scarabray. Uh, the town... No, this is the town of spirituality, not the sa town of sacrifice. Huh, interesting. I suggest that thou shouldst ask Mayor Forsyth first. 
as it is his right to be considered before the others. He strokes his chin thoughtfully as you leave. Uh, Mayor? No. Um, bye. Ah. Ah, yes, good Almendretta, tis good to see thee again. Of what service can I be to one so great as thee? He bows. Uh, sacrifice. Oh, goodness, no, I do not think I'm the one that thou wantest for that job. No, I should think not. Maybe thou shouldst ask all of the uh, townsfolk first. If none of them will do it, I might just think about it. Yes, that's right, thou shouldst ask the, the others. Then come back here to tell me who the poor soul is. He smiles at his own cleverness. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Oh, yes, right, if I have forgotten to tell thee something, thou mayest come back and ask, all right? He sighs heavily as you start to leave, then returns to his vigil in the corner. Um, let's see, a sacrifice. You explain that you need a spirit to volunteer to freely enter the Well of Souls to, in order to bring about its destruction. Quentin considers for a while and then responds, Please understand, milady. I truly wish that I had that kind of courage. But I cannot risk doing anything that might destroy Marnie. Remember, her spirit is kept in that well, along with all of the dead of the graveyard. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Actually, what about information? Nah, eh, not really. Alrighty, um, how about you, Paulette? Hello, Mayor. It has been quite a while since we've seen thee in our tavern. There was a time I remember when we couldn't keep thee away. The Mayor c becomes quickly embarrassed as he tries to quiet the rather friendly Paulette. I, uh, used to be a wine connoisseur of sorts, he says to you. Tis not all thou wert a connoisseur of, adds Paulette, eyes twinkling. I seem to remember thou had quite a taste for redheads. Yes, milady? Uh, sacrifice. Thou wantest me to to jump in a well? Her eyes widen with astonishment. Uh, yes. Well, thou canst go jump in a lake. She crosses her arms on her buxom chest and turns away from you angrily. Aww. All right. Uh, sacrifice. She smiles at first, then turns serious. I have tied my spirit to powers beyond the realm of this mortal world. Were I to enter the Well of Souls, this entire island and a good bit of the mainland would be destroyed in a magical discharge. Wouldst thou lose the town of Scarbray for all eternity? Uh, so that's a no, then, I take it. Well, shucks. All right, um... Oh, jeez, you're all the way over there. Oh, uh, hello there, Mayor. I thought you were sequestered in the town hall. Well, uh, it's good to see you again. Yes, well, it's good to see thee again, too. Markham hails you and drinks down a tankard of the house spirits. Welcome, my friend. Sit with me a while and live, enliven my eternity with your wondrous wit. He smiles in that charming way that only the half-rotted can. Uh, sacrifice. You relate the need of a sacrifice to enter the Well of Souls. Afterwards, Markham seems to think long and hard. So you're wanting me to go mad as a March Hare and jump right into this Well of Souls? He looks at you incredulously. Listen, now, I haven't had courage like that since I were a young lad. Since then, I got some sense, too. You'll have to look elsewhere for your sacrifice. Well, poop. I'm not sure if I read all those bits there, but whatever. Sometimes they change up their end, their what they say at the end, and and it, I don't realize it. Dang it, it's night. Ah, this is such good music. Greetings, milady. Kane breathes deeply, apparently forcing back his torment. Uh, sacrifice. I am sorry, milady, but I must spend my eternity here in constant memory of those whom I've destroyed. All right, so that's a no then. Let me guess, um, Trent and uh, Rowena are going to say no because they've only just found each other and god damn it. Stupid skeletons. Get your butts back into the grave. You guys are just standing here. As far as you can tell, the couple haven't released their embrace since they were first reunited. Despite them standing so far apart. And they show no sign of doing so any time in the near future. Sacrifice. No, milady, she is my life. If thou takest her, thou takest mine heart. 
Trent holds on tightly to his wife. Okay, goodbye. The couple continue staring into one another's eyes as if to make up for all the years they lost. Okay. Sacrifice. No, milady, wouldst thou take my beloved from me so shortly after our reunion? Another will have to perform this terrible task. Rowena holds on tightly to her husband. Okie dokie. Okie dokie dokie. Well, oh, Mayor, what's that? Yeah, that bat was after us. Is anyone actually hurt? Curious about talking to Mordra while people are hurt. No, nope, not really. Ah, uh, you're the mayor. Ah, oh, yes, good avatar. It is good to see thee again. Of what service can, can I be to one so great as thee? Uh, sacrifice. The mayor's eyes dart back and forth as you ask him to sacrifice himself for the good of his people. Oh. There is still one thou hast neglected to ask. Go and find the ferryman. Then come back and we'll see. Spectral sweat drips from his ghostly forehead. Uh, ferryman. Well, now. Just how didst thou come to this island? That is right, that ferryman. He is on the ferry to Scarabray, to, to the southeast. Alright, you know what? Screw that. I'm just going to teleport to that, that point. I'm tired of this. Should have just done it from the beginning. Ah, uh, what's after me? Another skeleton, oh look. To the death indeed. The ferryman of Scarabray stands in his spectral boat, holding his pole across his chest. He notices your approach. Uh, yes, but uh, I want to talk to you about sacrifice. Just for a moment, you think you see a fleeting expression of hope cross the ferryman's skeletal features. Then it's gone. I must perform my duty until the end of eternity. That's not so hot. Hmm. So how did he get here, and how does he leave? I mean, I don't think anyone is going to want to live in this uh, town with a skeletal ferryman bringing people to and from. Uh, sacrifice. After learning that none of the townsfolk are willing to sacrifice themselves for a greater good, an odd light comes into Forsyth's foresight, eyes. His chin firms and his shoulders square. How many of his chins firm? Well then, it has got to be done. And since no other brave soul will do it, perhaps I shall have to show them all what real courage is. He strides forward like a lord and plants his feet. Please be kind enough to lead me to the well. Oh, crap. Thou hast so many companions that I may not follow thee at this time. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, guys. Leave again. Wait here. Leave. Yes. Wait here. Sacrifice. Thank you for coming into the party. Jeez. So, what do we do? Double click on it? No. Double click on him. He looks into the well at the swirling pool of trapped souls and his newfound resolve seems to diminish. Perhaps this was not such a good idea. Art thou sure that I must go through with this? You nod. His resolve firms once again. Yes, thou art quite right. No time for speeches. No time for a wavering will. No time for... He sees that you're not buying his attempt to stall. Well then, this is it. He moves for toward the well. I suppose I didn't make a very good mayor in life. Forsyth's jowls drop. Well, at least in death I'll make a name for myself and do the job right. With that, he's gone. A, a name... What was his name again, guys? Ah, pff, whatever. The souls of the well rush out of their confinement, leaving the blackened remains of the powerful artifact. Boom! And luckily none of us actually got injured. Yay! And all of the souls are actually gone. 
Once again, Avatar, thou hast proven that thou art ever the defender of Britannia and the innocent. I cannot adequately express my gratitude. However, please take this small token of my thanks. I hope it will aid thee in thy quest. He hands you his personal staff. It appears to be magical. For a moment, Horns looks downcast. I feel that some of the responsibility for what happened to this town is upon my shoulders. Some? Some? For, in my search to uncover the truths of the universe, I unwittingly, unwittingly released that foul spirit which destroyed this town. I will spend the rest of my days in, an, in the attempt to restore this once lovely town. I will make it into a shining example of spirituality, a shrine where people of good heart may live in peace and harmony. Yeah, looking like a, a lich there. And again, I thank thee for giving me this chance. Goodbye, Elmadretta. Um, okay. Lawrence looks at you curiously. Thy task is done here in Scarbray. Thou hast my respect and lifelong gratitude, but he hesitates here as if unsure how to proceed. Shouldst thou not return to the quest which brought thee here? Uh, quest. Why, yes, I sense that the spirit of Cain has not left the island yet. Is he not waiting for thy return? Oh, okay, we'll go talk to him. Scarbray. I intend to restore this town and furthermore make it a place of beauty and renown. I enjoy thee I enjoin thee to return in future times to see if my boast doth, doth come to pass. I hope so, but um unfortunately this well, Ultima seven, including part two, is the last Ultima game. Goodbye, Almadrena. I hope that thou farest well in thy quest. He turns away. Alright guys, you can come back in the party now. Join Bye. Join by. All right, I guess we do go talk to Kane again. I'm not sure if he is ever freed in that case. I actually thought you had to talk to him before this happened, but uh, you know, whatever. Maybe this will free him. I don't know. Sup, ghost dude? No, not you. Not you. Greetings, my lady. Cain breathes deeply, apparently forcing back his torment. Uh, name? Job? I thought you freed him. Huh. Anything? No? Nope. So he is stuck here now, too. Well. Uh, oh well. Um. Oh. The corpses. I was not expecting corpses to be here. Uh, everyone fine? Seriously, skeleton? You would think that this would have stopped by now, but no. Alright, let's, uh, let's just... Return, yep. Alrighty. Um, return. Yes. Come on. Whee! While his uh, death scythe slices through uh, Dupre's head. All right, I'm going to make this one a little bit longer just so that we can get back to uh, um, New Magincia. There we go. And that is a fairly straight shot this way, actually. And that ghost is back there. Oh well, it's okay.
That is a really weird tree. I completely forgot about that tree. I do remember now that there were harpies. I, I remember fighting them. But, uh, still, it's, it's very odd. Uh, F3, okay. Go down this way a little bit. We'll get back to New Magencia, talk to Alignor, and then, uh, conclude the episode. Oh, oops. That's yeah, the Isle of Fire. Or one of the little pieces of it. That, uh, that is some, uh, ship there. A uh, masthead. Or bowsprit, whatever. That's what I want. Yes, of course we can, because there's a little plant there. Stupid plant. There we go. Um, Alignor, oh, you know what, it's, it's bedtime. Yeah. Get, get, let me talk to you, let me talk to you, talk to you. Hello again. I have the answers. Thou hast spoken to the tortured one and learned the answers to the questions of life and death? Yes, I have. Then what are the answers? Uh, be good. Strive for unity. <laughs> Strive for unity. Have faith. I don't know. Uh, be good. The sage frowns. That is not correct. Go and seek the true answer. Uh, answers. Yes. Strive for unity. Ah, oh, damn it, he doesn't say anything different. Answers. Yes. No answers. The sage smiles. Thou hast begun the, thy journey on the road to enlightenment. So this was all about me, is that what you're saying? As thou hast heard, all is not what what one has been taught by one's teachers. Tis a pity. Now I suppose thou dost want to borrow the notebook? Uh, yeah? Very well. Dost thou promise to return my notebook? Yes. Very well. I am counting on thee to return it to me personally. No telling what misfortune may befall thee if thou dost fail to do so. And as further incentive, I just might give thee something else which will help thee in thy quest if thou dost return to me... Return it to me safely. Here is the key to my storeroom. The first building to the south of here. He grins slyly. Thou must determine how to find the notebook thyself. Ah, well, That's a rather large building. Let's take a look. I mean, how, how bad could this really be? Um... Is this gold one the key? Oh, yes, the staff that I got from Horrence. Yeah, it's a, a fire doom staff. Not really worthwhile. Uh, unlock. Okay. Uh, are there other doors to unlock? Yes, there are. So we've got two ways in, and there's a bunch of other doors too. Oops. Close that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's take a look. Alignor! Yeah. Yeah, we have... We have a puzzle here. Oh, look! Look, I can't go through there. There's an invisible wall right there. Wait, what? Um... Well, there we go. Let's go flip that, see what happened. Can't really tell what happened, but we got teleported back here. And we can walk right out. Could we walk in? I hate you, Alignor. Hate you, Alignor. So, in the next episode, we will be going through Alignor's uh, storehouse, dealing with that craziness. We'll see you all next time, everyone.